Hello fellow gamers. So as most of you are probably watching this and you're like, hey, I want to have a gaming chair because I don't have enough money to buy one. Well, that goes for me too. So today I will teach you how to build a luxurious gaming chair. Now what you got to first do is, well, find a chair. And I did find the chair, but there are no uh, armrests. So what you gotta do is you gotta find some random pipes for laying around the house. You just gotta tape, smack them on the tape in there. So, you know, oh shoot, I don't have enough tape. onto the chair so that it'll have some support. Got it? See? Now your arms will be able to rest comfortably while you're getting all those zip rollies in Fortnite. I'll be back. And voila! This is how your gaming chair looks so far. So you got these nice armrests right here so that, you know, it won't break or your arms can rest comfortably. Now, we move on to the gamer keyboard. So, I bought this one from, uh, or I just found it at my house. And it's a nice membrane keyboard. And what you gotta do with this one is, well, your feet haven't been doing anything though so far. So what you gotta do is you gotta put it down there or right here. So, what you gotta do is you gotta tape it down in place. So make sure you have a bunch of uh, duct tape at your house. And you throw this key, no, your USB part over there. And now, you just tape this on. And now you have part of the keyboard. But for now, we tape this onto the chair. And now what you've got is a keyboard on the chair. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but trust me, I'm a professional. Boom. Next step, you have to establish your status to other gamers. So, what better to do it than um, getting a Minecraft pickaxe and just putting it on the back of your chair. And now, everyone knows that you're a Minecraft gamer. See? It looks better already. No! Tape! Boom. Minecraft gamer. Now, a problem with the gaming is that it stresses your brain, and that means you start sweating. Actually, no, that's not how it works, but I'm just gonna say that because it sounds smart. Anyways, your head starts sweating, and you know what you need? You need a fan right there. So, smack a fan right there. Now, what do you think of when you hear gaming? Well, you can't hear gaming without speaker. So, the speaker helps you uh, dive into the immersive gameplay of the game, like blockheads. So, you know, just tape down the speaker right there. Oh, you guys can't see it. So, let me move over a bit. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Boom. There's the speaker. Now, you can't say gamer without RGB. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Voila. Let me take you around. So, you see, we added the uh, LED strips on the side, so now we can uh, be cool. So I removed the right arm armrest because we need room for our uh, gamer fuel, right? So what I got is this uh, uh, claw thing. I'm gonna set it 
it right here, and then it's gonna hold our gamer fuel. So after a few minutes of trying to tape this down so they can keep it closed, we can now put this gamer uh, armrest. If, if, I mean, this is also an armrest too. Put it right there, and boom, you now have your uh, stand where you can put down your gamer fuel. Okay, wait, it's not strong enough. Gamers, we have uh, encountered a roadblock, but I know how to fix it. So, when you want to put your gamer juice over here, it tilts this um, arm down, or down, right? Well, I forgot that you wanted, you don't want sweat stinking up your room. Well, that's where this comes in. So, we're gonna use this to breathe right here. Okay, well, anyways, we're gonna use this for breeze. And we're gonna hook it up to here, like this, all right? So now, the claw is, well, going up. So, how about we just take that out for now? And let's just put it on. So guys, we got the gamer fuel holder thingy up but the problem is that we have to keep it like in this exact spot or else it will fall but we're gonna make our chair very fresh now but of course we need power so that's why we got this extension cord so now we're gonna have to hold up, let me lower this real quick we're gonna have to you know what? Never mind. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna have to attach this to the, probably like right, right here, right there. So guys, I got an update. We got the wiring done over here. So we got a little, we changed the uh, extension cord. So we have this charger going up to this phone. We have another thing going up to the LED lights. Sadly, we can't get the computer thing to connect it. We gotta get this Xbox controller connected right there. And this will help us game with our left hand, and our right hand can drink our uh, fuel. Uh -huh. Drink the game, game stuff. Now, what you gotta do, you gotta precisely Set it down like that. Right there. So that your left hand is now able to control the controller with ease. Voila! Actually, maybe just a bit more tape will do. A little bit more tape will hurt. Right? Um, probably like right about here. So keeping everything in place while making it look pretty cool. Oh no! Alright gamers, I'm about to turn off the lights. See that this, if this works. But first, you gotta see this. Yes! It works! Oh wait, you can oh. We have this garbage chair. When you can have this beauty right here. Mmm, look at it. So, what we got here, we got our Xbox controller on the left side so that you can game on the left side or with your left hand while drinking with your right hand. We got our phone charger right there. We got our leg keyboard. We got the head fan. We got the speaker. We got the status symbol of a Minecraft pickaxe. We got a bunch of RGB lighting, and we got a power brick down there. So, this is the greatest chair of all time. This is what gamers strive to have, have and I have it. Yes. Thank you for watching. See you next time.